Another year of the Washington huddle means another year. Speaking with our fantasy football expert, Jake Seeley from The Athletic for Jake's Fantasy Takes. Jake is a senior fantasy writer and host of the All in Football podcast. So make sure and check out theathletic.com. Read up on your favorite teams along with reading Jake's fantasy weekly updates for the coming season. Jake, welcome back. The season is here. Tell me about what you're up to at The, at the Athletic and with your podcast. <laughs> Yeah, already not getting any sleep. Uh, as you know, we won't sleep until January. It'll be a lot of fun, but got the waivers out there every single week for everybody. Week one waivers are already out. The rankings will be out during the middle of the week over the athletic at the podcast that you just mentioned going Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Basically, we have you covered. Anything you could possibly think of for your fantasy lineup every single week, we got it. Oh, even matchup rankings. So uh, the defenses everybody's facing by position. So you're, you're completely covered. Love it, Jake. You know, I feel like each year when it comes to fantasy, we know what we know in terms of who the stars are and that star power. Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Justin Herbert, Jonathan Taylor, Cooper Cup. But who are some other guys that can be relied on as great first round picks going into this season? Yeah, you get uh, Cooper Cup has two more names alongside of him now. Justin Jefferson, as we saw last year, and Jamar Chase last year as well in his rookie season. Kind of been spoiled. Two great rookie wide receivers back-to-back -back years. Jefferson's going into his third, Chase into his second season. They both are in consideration of not only being in the first round, but you can make an argument that they deserve to be in the same conversation as Cooper Cup. And then, of course, the running back position. It's a healthy Christian McCaffrey. That's what we've been waiting for every single year is just keep this guy healthy. He's back. But... Austin Eckler, Joe Mixon, Najee Harris for the Pittsburgh Steelers. They're all names that should be in the first round. All running backs that are great in their own right. So there's still plenty of value in that first round to be had after just those big top names. Love it. Well, there's star power and then there's preseason hype when it comes to fantasy. Who are some of the best value picks out there when it comes to a standard PPR league? Yeah, there's a few. I'll give you a running back and two wide receivers. Damian Pierce was the talk of the Houston Texans this entire preseason. He got the number one role for himself in that backfield. He's starting running back for the Houston Texans. Granted, their offense might struggle a little bit, but Marlon Mack got kicked to the back seat, and Damian Pierce is a rookie that comes from Florida, could actually be out there getting about 20 touches a game. You look at somebody who could get RB2 value, that's a top 24 running back in his first season in the league. He could be the one. And at wide receiver, Rashad Bateman takes over for Marquise Brown with the Baltimore Ravens. I think he actually fits a little bit better with Lamar Jackson's style, more into the intermediate game where he could have his breakout year. And then, of course, the biggest, I, I don't understand why people are overlooking this guy. He went from the biggest quarterback upgrade this offseason, formerly Ben Roethlisberger in Pittsburgh, and now he goes to Patrick Mahomes in the Kansas City Chiefs. Let's not forget what Juju Smith-Schuster was doing in this league just two or three years ago, and people want to only draft him in the middle rounds. I'm going to toot my own horn a little bit. I got Damian Pierce and I got Rashad Bateman in my fantasy draft, just to put that out there. All right, after week one, there always seems to be an overreaction by fantasy managers. What's your advice to managers out there on how to handle week one? To be patient. Don't overreact. Like you just said, the overreaction is the biggest mistake people will make. If you look at somebody like last year, Elijah Moore was a rookie for the Jets, actually struggled quite a bit for the first couple weeks. And that was a top 10 wide receiver. You saw other rookie running backs from years past when Cam Akers was a rookie. Jonathan Taylor was slow out of the gate for his rookie season. Even Derrick Henry to go back to his game. Be patient. Week one, I know there's a lot of excitement. You might see a splashy player come out there deep on a roster that makes a big play. But don't overreact. Don't drop these guys that you drafted in the 6th, 7th, 8th round just because one week didn't go right. There's very few players that hit all 16 or 17 weeks. Just be patient and let it settle. It's one week. You still have 16 more to go. Patience is a virtue. I totally agree. The, the, the week one overreaction kills me every single season. Uh, <laughs> finally, uh, some commanders in fantasy. This is the Washington Huddle. We're going to talk about the commanders. How about some, some commanders in fantasy that should be contributors? Talk to me about this Washington team and what to expect from some of the guys. Yeah, I think a fortunate situation, but I think we see the opening for Antonio Gibson to get, who I would say his groove back is, I kind of keep comparing him to Tiki Barber from back in the day with his fumbling issues. And if Gibson can get that right, he was just a top 15 running back in fantasy last year. We saw how good he was last year. So if he can get that straight while Brian Robinson is out, I think you're looking at Antonio Gibson being a week in a week out starter. But let's not forget about J.D. McKissick and what he brings in the passing game out of the backfield as well. In deeper leagues and full point PPR leagues, he can have some value in that. And you talk about rookies, Washington Commanders have a great one in Jahan Dotson. Uh, so much so that, as you've seen with this preseason, Curtis Samuel's been spending most of his time in the slot. Jahan Dotson's getting moved around. It wouldn't be a shock, even with Curtis Samuel healthy, if I saw, or we saw, I should say, Jahan Dotson have the better fantasy season, even as a rookie, than Curtis Samuel to give a real nice one-two punch with Terry McLaurin.